Team Transcendence from Hwa Chung Institution, Singapore. I'm Kai Chung, and these are my teammates Hao Jun and Jie Xu. In this video, we'll only be going through the small hardware changes for our mirror and IMU and focus more on the software aspects due to the time limit. Teams interested in more detailed hardware info can visit our website, GitHub, or 2020 videos in the description. As planned from last year, our 2021 robot has minimal hardware changes. It's still the same fast, sturdy build and possesses a strong dribbler, capable of holding a ball firmly at over 2000 RPM. However, we have made changes to our mirror which was made for machining and polishing an aluminum tube. We realized that there were still small scratches that distorted the image slightly. Hence, we experimented with even higher sand paper grids from 2500 up to 4000 and found that sending up to 3000 grid was sufficient to greatly reduce those distortions. As for electronics, majority of them are SMD components directly embedded into our three structural PCBs, which save space and cuts costs. For changes this year, we swapped to using the BNO055 as the IMU we used last year faced magnetic interference issues. The BNO is also configured as a 6 DOF IMU without the magnetometer as it could not properly calibrate at times. After conducting various tests, we found out that while not fusing the magnetometer data made it more susceptible to drift under extreme conditions, it was completely unaffected by magnetic fields, which we found to be a suitable compromise. Now onto our camera software. We use a Raspi 3B with a V1 camera for our vision system and it's capable of object tracking at 80 FPS with 13 milliseconds of latency. To achieve this, we have to make many optimizations like using C++ instead of Python and running Arch in Lux Arm as Raspi's OS. We have also created our own client side GUI where we can see the camera's view, select an area, get the range of thresholds, and see how changing them affects the object detection in real time. Are you ready? Now for the robot's gameplay. When the robot is a striker, it aims to orbit its way behind the ball and uses a similar orbiting motion to aim for the goal when it has position. When the ball is near the back, it uses the back dribbler instead to catch the ball. To score, it positions itself at an angle to the open goal area before quickly spinning to flick the ball in. As a goalie, it tracks the penalty area line and moves in the horizontal component of the ball's vector. A PID controller is used to vary the speed and ensure the robot stops in front of the ball. When the ball is very far behind the striker or closer to the goalie, the robots also send signals over Bluetooth to switch their role. The robot is also able to localize itself using mainly the TOFs and camera. From the TOFs, the robot can find its distance from the wall to determine its position. The difference in the known distance and the measured distance constitutes uncertainty for the TOF reading. From the camera, the robot can find a vector to the blue and yellow goals which can be used to find the robot's position from the center. The smaller the goal area, the higher the camera reading's uncertainty. Normalizing both sensors' uncertainties, a weighted average can be calculated for the robot's position. This method of localization is extremely robust against external interference. Finally, there are new advanced strategies we have been testing in our simulation. Firstly, tackling, where the non-striker robot chases the opponent's striker instead of the ball and pushes it into the nearest corner, reducing the gameplay into a 1v1 that is for our advantage. Secondly, blocking, where the non-striker robot positions itself between the closest opponent robot and the ball, thus either protecting possession or clearing the path to score. Thank you for watching our video. Once again, the full information of our robots are linked in the description below. If you like what you see, do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Booksotics.